We have arrived in a country which perhaps you've never heard of. Nestled in between Indonesia and Australia is a very small and mysterious country called Timor Leste. Now in terms of visitors and tourists, only a few thousand people come here every year. And that is because only two places around the entire world fly here. And that is Bali, Indonesia and Darwin, Australia. Now let me tell you something, this country has a huge history and in the next few videos I'm going to tell you all about it. So yeah, welcome to Timor Leste. Let's do it. Now a quick little fact I will tell you is that it used to be a Portuguese colony here for 400 years and to this day they still speak Portuguese, it's their main language here. So of course I had to bring my trusty Portuguese sidekick along, Katarina. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Timor Leste. Are you ready to be my translator and keep me out of trouble? Yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> That's the spirit. There you go. Good old Katerina has joined me once again. How much is a hat? Ten dollars. Ten dollars? Yeah. Wow. European price. Mm. Black or blue? I have another more one for blue. I want the Timor Leste flag. <laughs> oh, black. Definitely black. black. That's my style. Thank you. There you go, got myself a Timor Lest hat ready for the adventure. Now, as you can see, I don't suit hats because my ears, they stick out like a goblin. But there you go, got to fit in when you're in this country. Cat's bargaining for a bandana. Timor bandana? Yeah. There you go, myself and Kat are ready for the adventure. Got my Timor Lest hat and she's got a Timor Lest bandana from our new friend. What's your name? My name is Apolinario Suarez. Apollo Nano? Apolinario Suarez. Apoli it's a Portuguese name? Yes, yeah, yeah. Portuguese name. Wow. Apolinario. Apolinario. Can you teach me some other language? Um, so you speak Tegum, is that right? Tetum. Yeah, yeah, tetum. tetum? Yeah. How do you say hello in Tetum? Uh, hello is hello. Same? Yes, yeah, same. And how are you? Dear Kalai. Dear Kalai, and thank you? Uh, how dear? How dear? How dear, brother? <laughs> okay, there we go. Right, there we go. Got myself a hat. She's got a bandana. Let's begin the journey around Timor Leste. Let's go. Now, currently, we're in the capital of Timor Leste, and that is the city of Dili. Pretty small city, pretty small population, and I'll be honest, not much to do. But we're going to make the most of it before we head out of the city tomorrow and begin a pretty brutal adventure. So Kat, let's walk around, I'll get some smiles from the friendly locals already. And yeah, make the most of it here in Dili. So here we have a market next to the beach. This is where the locals come to have some lunch and relax, reminisce. Friendly people, a bit camera shy. We're going to walk around and uh, hopefully get a few interactions here in Dili. How do you say coconut in Portuguese? Coco. Coco. Uh, one dollar. One dollar. I take one, please. Obrigado. One. Un. 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 Thank you. There we go. I can sit here. Are you from Australia? I'm from England. England. Yeah. Ah. My friend. Nice to meet you, brother. You? Where are you from? Timorese. <laughs> You're Timorese, yeah? Yes. I like it here, it's a good place. Yes, nice Friendly place. people, yep. cheap coconuts, <laughs> can't beat it. Exactly. Beautiful, obrigado. Ah. Cheers, what's your name? My name is Pedro. <laughs> Pedro? Yes. Benjamin, my name. Ah. And this is Katerina. Katerina, welcome, nice. nice. <laughs> She's from Portugal. Um. Right, I'm going to drink my coconut with friendly Pedro. Ah. He's, gonna, <laughs> he's told me some advice on where to go in Dili. So I'm going to talk to him for a bit. And, and they're going to head to the mountains, I think. So yeah, cheers. That was the legend Pedro here in Timor Leste. He was telling us a lot of things to do and a lot of history about the country. Now, another fact I need to tell you about this country is that it's Asia's newest country. Now, it's a very complicated history, but basically, in 2002, they got their full independence. Is that right? Yeah. There you go. So it's Asia's newest country. 
they're still in building phase, so the roads are a bit dodgy. There's a lack of ATMs, a lack of hotels. In terms of booking this hotel in this country, it was a nightmare. There was only like five on the website, but in the end we got one. I'll show you it later. But yeah, anything you want to say to that? Well, yes. Okay, try sum it up. I'll tell a little bit of history about this country. It was a um, Portuguese colony for 400 years. Yeah. And then, we, in 74, we got them the independence when Portugal dictatorship ended and was when the Indonesia invaded them. Correct. 25 years. And then in 2002, they got their full independence. Yeah. There you go. Congratulations, time or less locals, for your full independence. Now let's get back on the bike and head to the mountains. Pedro told us, get away from the beach and head to the mountains for a viewpoint. So that's where we're going to go. Vamos. 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 Right, we've left the chaotic capital of Dili. We're now beginning a climb up into the mountains. And as you can see, the scenery certainly changed and the way people live as well. People are living in these like metal shacks, wooden shacks up here, heading up the mountain. But we're heading this road until we find some content up on those mountains. Ah! Hold on, cat! <laughs> there we go again. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> what? I popped the soil. What are you? Oh, fuck. Disaster. <laughs> we need someone to the rescue. We just have a flat tire and I don't know how. I have no idea how to change a tire. I wouldn't change myself or trust myself. Need a backpack a bit. It's not even parking. We'll have to head down and get some lo local help. Thank God you speak the language. I need to, we need to call the guys and say we need the rescue. Yeah. Good God, we've only been driving about 20 minutes up the mountain. We've busted a tire. Look at that. <laughs> Basically, again, I need to walk. But this time I'm walking down a hill and not a uphill. How it made me do it in the Philippines. So we're improving, I think. Back, back a bit and, and our flat tired. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> They find it hilarious that it's two foreigners stranded here on the mountain. Hopefully they help. Oh, here we go. Here's the man, the hero. The hero of time more last. Team more last. Yeah, it's knackered. That's knackered, isn't it? We have to call up the guy. Call his WhatsApp up. There we go. What a nightmare. <laughs> Are you guys just here? Uh, holiday. holiday. Yeah, we flew yeah. from Bali to here yeah. and we're here for 10 days. 10 days here. Yeah. So, how days are you here? I'm enjoying it. In Dili, we spend two days. Two days. Tomorrow we go east to Jaco. Oh. Yeah, but I like it's, it here. It's over there. Yeah. <laughs> but I like it here. It's a good place, good people. Oh, it's you. nice. <laughs> good weather. Yeah. Calling up the guy we rent the bike off, he's not answering. These guys are offering to help. Mechanic? Kia. 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 Uh, yeah, mechanic. Mechanic, mechanic okay. Uh, Obrigado. Uh, Obrigado. So, what do we do? Oh, we drive this uh, one. Drive this, this one. one. Uh, yeah. They want to stop. Oh, where is the mechanic, though? Uh, where is the mechanic? Oh. There. This one, this one. Okay, so they're driving it to mechanic. Yeah. And we're driving their bike. Okay, right. Yeah. Well, it appears we've arrived at the mechanic's house. Steve, that's your keys. Ah, no, thank you. We need to take a back to where we turn because here you doesn't have the tool. So we're back on the bike again? Yeah. Okay, right. 
Bloody hell. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Friendly people though, they're helping us. Yes. Six of them, I'm mostly. <laughs> Got the whole village helping us. <laughs> yeah, get on, cut. Take the camera. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You're confused. You speak the language. How do you think I feel? Are they speaking Portuguese or the local Tatum language? That one of them, one with the hat, he speaks Portuguese all the time. Tatum, Tatum language. But I don't know anything. Neither do I. Hey, thank you, my friend. You're a good man. Thank you so much. Good man, thank you. Well Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Good man, good man, thank you. Yeah, yeah, let's get a photo. These are the legends of time, Timor Les. The heroes, thank you guys. Obligado, obligado. Thank you for the Thank you for legends, absolute legends. Right, it appears they've sorted the bike. Cat, let's continue this journey to the mountain. How we gonna try again? Two. Yeah, I take them all, please, all of them. Ten. Three, four, five. Yeah. Five, six, no. Three. Yeah. Me and Kat have bought the lads, the legends, some cold drinks on this boiling hot day as a thank you. We're going to drive back now and uh, give it to them because they basically saved us here. We're stuck on a mountain, miles from our garage. So yeah, let's head back. Hopefully they're still there. He's still there. I can see him. The heroes. Brother, here, obligado. Ah. Take it. <laughs> there you go, my friend. Thank you. No worries, mate. The winter, we gotta have a Thanks for your help. Bye bye. Take care. Right, thank, you. thank you, brother. Right, we're back on the hill where the tyre burst a second ago. Let's hope we get up this time. Are you ready, Cat? Yeah. Full throttle. Let's go. Okay. We make it. <laughs> yeah, boy. We've been driving for about 45 minutes up some very steep hills up the mountain. Not much civilization up here as well. Just come across our first village. This is people here, look, living in the mountains. Curious, looking at us now. Hello. Ah, they wave back. Friendly people. That's the roads we're heading up. Might not look too steep on a camera, but we're heading all the way up here. Empty roads again. Oh God, how much is it like this for? 12 minutes. Oh Christ. <laughs> Could I get another puncture? Oh, don't say that. Ask this guy, let's ask this guy. Hola, como estas? Dara village. Yes, sí. This way? Yeah. Okay. How... Went to Temple. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Quite to temple. Oh. Five oh. minutes? Yeah. Uh... Cinco? Tres. 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 Oh. Obrigado. Obrigado. Oh-ho! We made it. Top of the mountain here in Dili. The roads here are brutal. We were warned about this before we came. We looked up online. They said the roads here are non-existent. So yeah, that's true. Hello. How are you doing? More friendly locals driving past. But yeah, there we go. Cat, we made it. We did. Just about anyway. <laughs> A bumpy journey. Flat tired. <laughs> and Tetun, Portuguese, English all mixed up. We made it. We made it. And there it is. The final viewpoint of Dili. The capital, Timor-Leste. Right, we are back at the hotel here in the centre of Dili. Now, this is what $20 a night gets you, right in the heart of the city. But I think we're in a bad area, we're in like the industrial area, so you can probably hear it now, the drills, the banging. There you go. So, let me show you. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. $20 a night gets you. You like that noise? No, we're right next to a bloody factory or something. Look at that. There's our bikes. 
Anyway, welcome to my room. Oh, there you go, get a light on, boom. And there it is, that is what $20 gets you here a night in Timor-Leste. Yeah, uh, let me give you a little tour. Not much to show you, really. You've got your uh, stool here with my bag on. Katerina stood there. You've got a TV, you've got a fridge, none of those work. You've got a little table here, and then you've got a bathroom. Boom. There you go. Not bad. Uh, pretty minging. Pretty minging. Toilet wasn't working yesterday. Oh yeah, the flush don't work for uh, some time. And there's the bed. There you go guys, what more do you need? You've got your bed, you've got your AC, which kind of works, and you've got your toilet, which doesn't really work. Anyway, let me end things here. I'm gonna continue filming in a few hours and it's cooled down, and yeah, we're gonna head out at sunset. So, see you then. Good evening. We're gonna end the day here with a little walk up a different mountain because on the mountain, they've got their own version of Christ the Redeemer, like they have in real Brazil. And oh. it was gifted by Portugal. Really? The statue? Yeah. yeah. There you go. So the statue we're heading up to now, for sunset, was gifted by Portugal. How interesting. We've got 500 steps to get up there. So yeah, let's begin. Me and Kat have found a secret walkway before we get to the main viewpoint. Look at this. Don't fall down there, Kat. You'll break your leg. Nice and steady. Wow, look at this. This is the beauty of Timor-Leste. Look at this. That's a deserved bitch. Ooh. Wow, look at that. Careful. camping in there. Wow, incredible. I like this country. I do love it. It's brilliant. Look at this. Guys, you know me. I don't sugarcoat anything. If a place is a shithole, I'm going to say it's a shithole. But when it comes to first impressions of this country, my God, I'll tell you what, this is up there. Great people, decent food, all right prices, and the beauty. I mean... You can't fault it so far. I'm enjoying it. Tomorrow, we begin the brutal road trip to the east of the um, island. You're gonna see that in the next video. But yeah, so far, I'm liking this country. Kat, are you liking it? I love it. I just wish they didn't have crocodiles in the water. I know. There are salt water crocodiles here on the island and the locals don't even swim in the water for that reason. Apparently they're everywhere. So yeah, if you do come to this country, be aware of that. Salt water crocodiles. Always ask the locals. Always ask the locals, that's right, cat. Wow. There's more steps. I thought it was all over. Hold on, let these guys go. Huh? Yeah. The locals are way fitter than us. They're running up it, doing press up squats. Me and Kat are in bits. One last break? Yeah. I think we deserve a breather. We do. Wow, we made it. Kat, welcome to the top of oh. Timor Lest. Cristo Rey. Cristo Rey. Yeah. And there he is. All right then, I'm gonna end things here on a high. Great first day here in Timor-Leste and many more to come, hopefully anyway. We've got some pretty brutal things, like I said before, lined up and yeah, it could get rough, but you'll see that in the next video. So for now, it's goodbye from me and it's ciao from Katerina. Ciao. See you guys in the next video here in Timor-Leste. Bye-bye.